for firing training. I've been working with them. Like I said, I got four metal jackets and a 15. professional. I've been through firearm training. I've been around them all my life. I know how to use them. I know when to use them and stuff like that. Hopefully later on I can demonstrate and show everybody what would be the best bullets for ballistics to use in self-defense or target or whatever. That will be later on. I don't have the ballistics drills to do it. So right now since I'm making this video I'm going to be talked about my gun. Hopefully y'all be able to see what's going on. I don't want to drop nothing. Okay. I bought a new magazine for my pistol. This one right here is the original that came with the pistol. The reason why I know is there's like a right about here there's a little date on it. It says it's made in July of 2014, which tells me that pistol right here was made in, I don't know, but I think the magazine was made before the pistol, it really don't matter, but yeah, so 8 round magazine, I got full metal jackets, 115 grade, on the last video I did reload test, which is this right here, that's the reload, and the reason why, how you can tell, Show you the best way I can. I got the phone where I can see everything. For the people that does reloads, you probably know what I'm talking about. Hey, you can tell this is reload. This has been remanufactured because I got the box right here. It strictly says on the box this. This is what this bullet came out of. Uh. So Great Lakes Firearms and Ammo. And on the side of the box right somewhere it says it's been remanufactured in the state of Michigan. See this right here is just says win nine millimeter Luger. That's the caliber of my pistol, nine millimeter. Right here, you probably can't see it on camera, there's like three little prongs right there by the primer. Which this is totally different from 22. There are some 22 bullets as center fire instead of rim fire. Which, when I get that weapon later on, I will show you what I'm talking about. But, anyways, this is the magazine that came with my pistol when I bought it brand new. And this is the magazine I just bought 
This one was made in October 2016. Now, remember I told you I'm a professional. For people that never have experience with firearms, my own suggestion, I'm not a firearm instructor, my only suggestion you should go talk to the local police or sheriff's department, find out where you need to go to do firearm training. Or you can become a member of the NRA and do firearm training for them like I do. See? For people that never use firearms and is not experienced, never have the weapon pointed at you. Always have it pointed in a different direction, finger out trigger. Always keep it on safety. As you can see, mine's on safety. That's off safety. That's your magazine release. This is where your magazine goes. As you can see, I'm pointing the weapon up where it ain't in my face. Never, ever look down the barrel of a weapon. Well, some of y'all probably already know that. And as you can see, I'm doing the safety check, which Right now I'm having a little problem because I just cocked it earlier because I was about to shoot a dog. As you can see right there, my weapon's clear. There's nothing in it. For people that don't know much about it, as you can see, I'm not pointing the weapon at my face. I'm pointing it towards the ceiling. This is your front sights. This is your rear sights. As you can see, that's a 3.5 inch. Barrel, I have to look on the paperwork and make sure I ain't wrong. And the reason why it looks wet right here, I just cleaned it because I took it out last weekend and I fired a couple magazines. Make sure, make sure, yeah, this is my new one. Make sure my new magazine is working good. Really. This is kind of gun oil I use to clean my weapon. I clean my weapon about twice a month and every time I shoot it. I'll tell you right there, I take care of my weapon. Because you never know when. You never know when you gotta use it. Sometimes when you don't clean your weapons, they jam. Or sometimes if you don't rack the magazine, which it says is in any kind of handgun manual, it will jam. So, I'm going to be putting in some clips of stupid people with firearms that doesn't need firearms. The correct way to hold a firearm and release it out of you. As you can see, I will burn this up in a second because I'm going to be complaining about this in a second. See, right, me. got this strap in my belt. As you see, this is the belt strap. I'll loop my belt through this. Carry it right here. Which, I don't have a license to carry. I open carry. Then when I draw my weapon, I usually, which I have to practice doing it like this, but when I draw my weapon, I pull it out. And I hold it like this. I pretty much get in the shooting position. And yeah, you know the rest. But, uh, I never had a problem out of this pistol. Not once. It never jammed on me and never had a problem out of it. Uh, let me sit it right here. Let's see. I'm just going to sit it like this. So, there's a lot of people out there on YouTube, they talk bad about this weapon. There's people out there that also blows them up to see how tough it is. The weapon's tough. I'm not going to take the only firearm that I paid for, use my hard work and money, and blow it up like a bunch of idiots. That clip will be in the video, too. And that's... And those people I'm going to be putting in the videos are listed as idiots for wasting money. 
and there's going to be idiots that's going to be, I'm going to put clips in, that actually that will shoot themselves or discharge a firearm inside the house. That's stupidity, which I had that problem once, but I got rid of the gun. But anyways, there's one idiot on there. I don't know, remember his name. His name's Paul. He's ex-military. I consider him an asshole in my book. He sat there and said that he swore up and down that he went through every gunshot to find out who's for this weapon. He said he tried a Glock 22 Generation 3 holster. He said the bullet, the well, the gun he used was a 45 high point. This is a 9 millimeter C9. I like this better than the 45 because they're small, not as heavy, and I don't like the big boy guns. I like the small ones that can't hardly see. But this is my everyday carry for right now until I get something better. Than that. I'm just gonna keep this in my Jeep. They sit there and he, and the guy on that YouTube channel, swore up and down. He went to every gun store to try to find a poster that would fit the 45 hot point. He didn't try hard enough. Yeah, he made good. He makes good videos. I will say that. But the only video I don't like is when he sits there and talks about about this weapon. There's a lot of people out there like me that can't afford. Smith & Weston or Smith & Weston 38 Special or anything like that. And there's most people out there prefer different kind of weapons like Colt, Glock. Yeah, I like Glock. I also like High Point. High Point's a good firearm, so they're just as good as any other firearm. But they sit there. This guy in the demolition ranch, don't get me wrong. The guy on Demolition Ranch, Matt, he has good videos. I like his intro. It's awesome, but I don't like it whenever he sit there and destroyed his gun. I will put that clip in the video. But my point is, the one guy who's doing a review like I'm doing right now, which mine's firearm safety. This video is firearm safety. I'm also going to be talking about other people. I'm not trolling anybody or anything. I'm just trying to get my point across. Well, I was sitting there watching, doing research. I don't like the high point holsters. I seen some, like 15, anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars. I didn't want no high point holster because I just don't like plastic holsters. Because sooner or later, sometimes plastic's gonna break. I might be wrong, I don't know. I never had one. I prefer these. I had a holster like this when I first got my first high point C9. Never had a problem with it. They even had a magazine holder right about here. Yeah, also I had a little velcro and I just held it in like that. This one don't have one. I'm gonna have to give me a couple magazine holders. And later on, I'm going to get another, I'm going to order me another magazine, it's going to be a 10 around. I'm going to be doing a review on that, which I'm going to be shooting paper targets. Well, this paper target with a 10 around magazine. But, I know what size this is for, I know what size holster for this pistol fit in. I can tell you right now. I still even got the box that goes to this, as you can see. Fits perfect. Make sure it's in there. Yeah, the only thing I didn't like about, well, of course, every hoster you get, you're going to have to adjust it. As you can see, it fits perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Okay. When that guy sat there and said there was no type of hoster that would fit a high point, that's bullshit. I went to Walmart and I paid six dollars for 
Gunmaster holster. It's a hip holster. And it fits large firing pistol. It can be it's a right hand only, which I'm right handed. It pretty much tells you I'm at, I paid like seven dollars for this for this holster. Seven dollars for this holster now. Which ain't bad. As you see. It's name branded this right here. I still got it. I bought this the day I bought the gun. But yeah, there's a lot of people out there that talk bad about high points, which, but yeah, hey, if that's all you can afford, go for it. If you can't afford, if you don't want one, you want want an name brand like Smith & Weston M&P Shield, some gun shops have layaways, they give you like a hundred dollar down payment. And you got three months to pay it off. You can do it that way. Me, I couldn't wait no three months. I had to have one because I had a I had rodent problems. I had to take care of. I needed a firearm because uh, my pellet rifle wasn't doing the job. So yeah, I do carry my pistol. I don't carry it in public that much, but I do carry it out in the yard a lot. But, uh, yeah, if you're not experienced with a firearm, I can't teach you, but it's not hard. You just got to know what you're doing. It'd be easier if you just take the firearm lesson for safety reasons, which I will be putting some clips in there in the video. But always make sure your weapon's on safety, loaded or not. And if you go to clean it, Make sure the weapon ain't loaded. Because I actually know somebody that was friends with my sister. He was supposedly cleaning a firearm. Alright, question. If you're going to clean a firearm, you unload the weapon, correct? Everybody knows that. Even I do. I do that all my life. My grandpa taught me this stuff when I was younger. You always make sure. It's unloaded. Some people unload the magazine. I, I don't unload my magazine because my springs in the magazine is still kind of stiff. But I keep the bullets in there so I can weaken it a little bit. And then I unload the magazine by hand. But if you're going to clean the weapon, make sure it's unloaded. Because my sister's friend, him and his brother, I don't know why a bunch of kids was not being supervised by their parents. They were supposedly cleaning a gun and didn't check it. And the boy's brother pulled the trigger, shot his own brother in the shoulder, and he bled to death. It's... Uh, yeah, it's a sad story. I know a couple of people that actually been hurt by firearms. Some of them did it out of stupidity, and some of them, one of them is actually an accident, which, that one of the people to me, which, I got hurt in an accident. Uh, being shot ain't, don't feel good. I can't tell you what it feels like to be shot by a firearm, but I will tell you what it feels like being, I bet, if you've been shot by a BB gun, and the BB went under the skin, it hurts. A firearm, like a 9mm, hit the post notification and notify you when I go live or when I upload videos. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to share the video, share it with your friends or whatever. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add in those clips of those idiots with fire. No, not knowing how to use a firearm. And not checking the scent if it's loaded. So, and I'm also going to be at, added in some firearm accidents from idiots that don't pay attention. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video.
hit the post notification and notify you when I go live or when I upload videos. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to share the video, share it with your friends or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add in those clips of those idiots would fire. No, not knowing how to use a firearm and not checking the scent if it's loaded. So, and I'm also gonna be at, added in some firearm accidents from idiots that don't pay attention. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> I just fucking shot myself. Hold up. Oh. Probably flash my guns around a little bit. I'll go. Ooh, dude, my mom's gonna kill me. Oh my god. I hope you enjoyed my video and like that. And I hope you've seen those clips because now you see what the fuck I'm talking about. People like that need to go through fire training. Some of them don't need it. Thank you for watching.